<laughs> presses a button in the BBC with that John, but is a bit rum. And frankly, I can tell you this in all honesty, and this is, this is true, it's a much more collaborative operation yeah. now in terms sure. of the way we do things, and I yeah. can never remember it being in the yeah. BBC. I, I don't, and I honestly yeah. mean that. But and, are you collaborating so, in the right, about the right things? I, I, frankly, yeah. I don't want him around everywhere, because I think, you know, we've all got, a, we've all got jobs to do, we've all got space. Well, some of he you. Came, he, some, came, no, no, he came no, here no, yesterday, no. Some he came here yesterday and was questioned. To. What, what? I mean, just supposing, what difference would it make if you're so keen on the personalities and you do... No, no, the, person well, the, 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 the personalities the president do president. make a difference because they start enunciating policies in a certain kind of way which can then be thrown open to a different sort of debate than the one that has been allowed under the present regime. That's what I'm basically saying. But also, the BBC cannot assume that it is the soul, that it and public service broadcasting are the same thing. And if the BBC continues on its present path, that is why I suggested that there should be other public service broadcasting organizations set up to amend the damage that the BBC is doing to itself by prematurely taking on the wrong political language, commercial language, in self-defense, confused self-defense, which is getting ossified and solidified into management dogma. New Theakston Draft Best Bitter in a can with the special tap stream system. It's a lot easier to take home for everyone. Which is the best value powder on balance? You may think that compact powders work out more expensive than the leading big box powders. Well, let's find out with the help of these rather large scales. Here's five pounds of powder from an aerial ultra refill bag and five pounds of big box powder. Now, the big box powder appears to be better value because you get more of it. But how much washing can they do measure for measure? You get all this washing from the big box powder but Aerial Ultra gives you even more clean clothes for your fiver, which is better for your bank balance. Aerial refill bags, on balance, better value than the leading big box powder. Venezia! Once Venezia has hope of you, it never lets you go. Laura Biagiotti, Venezia Parfum. A seduction of the senses. Can you tell Ultra Lenore softness by touch alone? Dean hopes so, because if he can't pick the Lenore softened towel from all the unconditioned ones, the girls are going to make him eat worms. So the pressure's on. I hope for Dean's sake that Lenore's as good as they say it is. Phew, he's done it. Tough luck, girls. You're going to have to eat the worms yourselves. Ultra Lenore, so much softer, you can feel it. Cousin William, I don't suppose you know why Purcell gets the dishes so very clean? No, but I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Well, the Purcell grips the grease, and then it holds it in the water so it can't get back on the plate. You see? No. Run me through that again. See? No. No. Well done, Billy! <laughs> Purcell washing up liquid. Grips grease for good. I was exceptionally fortunate to begin my career in television at a time when the BBC was so infuriatingly confident about what public service broadcasting meant that the question itself was not even on what would now be called the agenda. The then ITV companies shared much more of this ethos than they were then willing to acknowledge. Our profession was then mostly filled with men and women who mostly cared about the programs rather than the dividend. 
and the venomous hostilities of the small minority who are the political right, before its wholly ideological transformation into the type of venal, wet-mouthed radicalism which can even assert without a hint of shame that there is no such thing as society, before those people had yet launched their poisoned arrows. Clunk, they go. Clunk, clunk. And lo and behold, we have in the fullness of such darkness been sent unto us a director general who bears his chest to receive these arrows, a Saint Sebastian eager for their punishing stings. The world's turned upside down. The BBC is under governors who seem incapable of performing the public trust that is invested in them, under a chairman who seems to believe he's heading a private fiefdom, and under a chief executive who must somehow or other have swallowed whole the kind of humbug punctuated pre-privatization manual which is being forced on British rail or British coal. Our television has been ripped apart and faltering, falteringly reassembled by politicians who believe that value is a monetary term only and that a cost accountant is thereby the most suitable adjudicator of what we can and cannot see on our screens. And these accountants, or their near clones, are employed by new kinds of media owners who try to gobble up everything in their path. We must protect ourselves and our democracy, first by properly exercising the cross-ownership provisions currently in place, and then by erecting further checks and balances against dangerous concentrations of the media power which plays such a large part in our lives. No individual, group or company should be allowed to own more than one daily, one evening and one weekly newspaper. No newspaper should be allowed to own a television station and vice versa. A simple act of public hygiene tempering abuse, widening choice, and maybe even returning broadcasting to its makers. The political pressures from market-obsessed radicals and the huckster atmosphere that follows has by degrees and in confused self-defense drawn the BBC so heavily into the dogma-coated discourses of so-called market efficiency that in the end, it might lose clear sight of why it, the BBC, is there in the first place. I fear the time is near when we must save not the BBC from itself, but public service broadcasting from the BBC. The old titan should spawn smaller and more nimble offspring if its present controllers cannot be removed. Why not think about it anyway? Why not separate radio from television? Why not let BBC Two be a separate public service broadcaster? Let's begin to consider afresh how the thousands of millions of pounds of licensed money could be apportioned between two, three, or four successors to the currently misled corporation. I think Dennis Flowers a, a fair warning shot across our bows. Where I would absolutely agree with him is public service broadcasting is important and it's incumbent upon those who are responsible for wherever they are in whatever part of British broadcasting to make sure that they do cherish it, they pass it on in at least as healthy and I hope healthier state afterwards. Where I would absolutely disagree is that breaking up the BBC is going to do that. If you want to weaken the BBC, break it up. Break it up, pick it off and I'm surprised that you raise that because in another part of your lecture, which we haven't talked about at all today of course, was the other half of it was, or a lot, another, another part of it, was a, a, string, a, a very strong attack on media barons, some in particular. And if you break up the BBC, frankly I think what you'll be doing is creating fish for them to fry. So don't do that. Uh, if you want to protect the independence of an organization, I, th I think it's very important that you know, size is enormously helpful in that in terms of confidence. But I think the warning shot you, you, you fire about the importance of it is a fair one. And I think we, ought, we need to be judged by that. And perhaps you should come and give the lecture again in two or three years' time. What's the point? Uh, and uh, um, we, we should all yeah. judge us upon it. Do you think John Burt should have come on Friday? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a supplementary.
Oh, Dennis, I can remember also the Golden Age. I am very fascinated by your reminiscences about the part the BBC